Hello there, Andrew Rondo from WeBuildYourBlog.com and this is my first video in my new blog expert series about improving the loading speed of your blog. And as you can see, this is my blog in front of you and you can see if I scroll down, it's got, got lots of images and lots of different things on the front page, or the main page. And I've what I've done over the last two couple of weeks is install some pieces of software and done some tweaks and that sort of thing to improve the blog speed. Now what I've done in order to show you what we're going to do in this particular video I've actually taken some of those off so it's now currently loading at the slightly faster but close to the speed it was loading at a couple of weeks ago and I'm going to show you a nice simple easy tool which some of you will have seen before but the tool is really easy to use and it's going to test your blog speed how it is loading uh, and how fast it's loading today before we make any enhancements to your blog as we go through this video series so the first thing I need to do is copy my uh, my URL and we're going to go over to www.tools.pingdom.com and what you do as you can see there you basically put in your URL and you click the test now button and then what that does is basically do a test on on how quickly your blog uh, and that particular URL is loading and as you can see it's testing and then once it's finished it will say up here that it's finished basically uh, there we are testing finished so what you can then do if you then scroll down all the way down to the bottom it will tell you how fast it's loaded so the loading time for my home page was 9.6 seconds and if I then scroll back up it will then show you all these are the different components it's taken and used to load my blog so you can see that this these row these uh, rows here take basically are the length of time it's taken to do a number of different activities so this particular activity here which is the print CSS and I've got a tab a uh, JavaScript that sort of thing they're taking one two three four five six seven eight seconds to load now obviously it's doing a few other things at the same time because they're all in parallel but it just gives you an idea of the sorts of things which are slowing down the speed the speed of your blog and if you come down here you'll see that all these things here all these great big long rows of diagram here are looks like they are all banners so I've got lots of banners on my front page so all those are taking far too long to load and that's what slows your blog your slows down your blog speed so what I'm now going to do uh, is I would re record that speed so I think we said if I go back down it was 9.6 seconds so if you go into a spreadsheet all I would do is put in the URL so this was my we build your blog um, main page home page and I'm gonna have my before and I'm gonna have my after speed and um, 9.6 and what I would do, I would do that same test three or four times throughout the day and to just to see what it was like. So it may have been 10 seconds the next time, it may have been 9.4 and 9, that sort of thing. And then I would take an average, so an average of whatever they are, um, say that's an average of 9.4 seconds. And the other thing to then do is then actually go to a, a, a blog post. So if I go back to my blog, I'm going to actually click on a blog post so I want to click on this one here which has got a fair few comments on it's got an image and it's got a few other images and that sort of thing on the actual page so if I cut and paste copy that as well and I'm going to go back to Pingdom Tools and I'm going to put in that URL as well in here so I'm now going to test the loading speed of that particular blog post. So you get an idea, not just your main page, but also a blog post as well. So pick a, a blog post which um, you, you want to test and see how long it takes to load. So that's just running through now and you can see that it says testing finished. So if I scroll down, again you can see all the different components and which ones are taking a long time so again a lot of these are images here where they're taking too long to load 
and if I call them down so as you can see there it's taken 9.5 seconds so if I go over to my spreadsheet I put in my URL there and I put in 9.5 and again I could run that three or four times during the day so it may have been 9.5 again it could have been 10 it could have been 9 and uh, the average of those is let's say it's 9.5 so I've got my averages before and after now what I'm going to do is go back over to my blog and I'm going to re-put or re re-enter the the enhancements I've done and then I'm going to come back and show you that what the difference between the before and after speeds of the load speed of the blog so bear with me while I, while I pause the video and make some changes to my blog and then I'll come back and show you the new results so I'll see you in a minute hello I'm back and I've made the changes to my blog so what I've got in here is the URL for the uh, blog post so if I click test now for the actual testing of the blog post and let's see how many seconds it takes this time and we'll put that into the spreadsheet as well so it's obviously running down the test and hopefully it'll finish in a second so testing finished I then scroll down to here I've got 4.2 seconds so if I go over to my spreadsheet um, it was 9.5 I'm now got 4.2 so I'm pretty pleased with the improvements on that one and then if I go back over to the pingdom tools and I just take off the end part of that so I've just got my blog main URL there and do a test now and see what happens this time with regards to testing the main URL um, so it's doing the test hopefully it's finished oh there we are nice and quick and 3.6 seconds so if I go back over here it was 9.6 and I'm now on 3.6 seconds so the first thing to do today or over the next day or so is to use the pingdom tools uh, go in and have a look to see how quickly your blog posts and your main blog site are being um, loaded and do that two or three times four times get an average and then in the next video I'll show you the, the start of some things you can do to improve your blog loading speed and I'll see you in the next video all the best speak to you soon thanks bye